Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Between episodes, I didn't really do much. I, uh, well, I enchanted my hoe again. So that that's literally it. But you know how I was saying last episode, we should build that guardian farm because tools are gonna need to get fixed. And now that I have them maxed out, I don't want to be breaking them and needing to get them over again and all that stuff. Well, I think we're going to start the mission of making a guardian farm. Now, I found the location of a good guardian temple. And, uh, well, it's right outside where I want my main base to be. So, uh, I think I'm going to make the nether tunnel over there. And then what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to use that guardian farm. As I'm just going to be my guardian farm. And I'm going to be right next to my big base. So, I think it'll be fun. But... There's a lot of stuff you gotta do before I can build this guardian farm. For instance, I need like 50 tridents for this guardian farm. And like 3 shulker boxes of just blocks. So it's, it's gonna be a lot. Also, I don't even think I have enough redstone to build this like in my name. So It's gonna be a long project and we're probably not gonna finish it in this episode, but... The goal is going to be to at least <coughs> go ahead and, you know, get the, uh, get a, why am I in a tree? Uh, I'm, give me a second, I'm gonna fix this. I, I'm back. This should be fixed. Uh, there shouldn't be like a secondary portal. Um, I do have proper coordinates for where the portal should be in chat now. And I'm gonna move this portal to a, uh, I'm gonna make another hub like deep in the nether. I usually make them up in the air, but I end up having the issue with it. Uh, <coughs> like you either hit bedrock on your head or, uh, you end up falling into a lava lake because apparently the uh, yeah the top of the nether is just pain. So I think we're gonna try the bottom of the soil. And sadly, in bedrock, we can't build it on the nether roof, so that's not an option. Although that would be a much safer and preferred option. Oh, man, come on, come on. Look, I'm trying to leave. I'll get out of your hair. Just let me grab my obsidian and I'll be on my way. And they're trying to kill me. Okay. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Come on, one more. I, I, nope, it's time. Jump off the edge. Jump off the edge. Jump, jump, go. Nope, I. Ooh, okay. Okay, I got the cores of chat, so minus 130 is roughly where I need to be on the first number, by, I think, just 33, so that's in the middle of a lava lake. I'll be right back. all set up. It puts us under the nether, so, you know, location where I want to put the nether up. And, uh, yeah, that, that, that's about it. So, I'm going to dig to where I want to put my main base and where this, uh, you know, ocean monument is. And, uh, I'll, I'm going to time lapse it. I'm going to time lapse it. But I will be back with you in, like, 30 seconds for you. Let's go!
as you can see, uh, we made another tunnel. Ignore this mess. Uh, if we go through the portal, this is where I plan to build my main base. Load in, load in, load in. Over there, there's like this beautiful cove and all that. And the main reason we're here. There's a guardian. Okay, guardian place. Uh, sea temple. Uh, ocean monument. That's what it's called. Ocean monument, right over there. So, I kind of thought we'd use that one, because it's right by where I plan to build the main base. So, in the future, when we come over here and start building, it'll just be, you know, right there. And, uh, if you're wondering how I got netherite, uh, as I was digging the massive tunnel since it's on level 6 in the nether, I may or may not, blah, 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 may or may not have found a, uh, <coughs> lot of candy. <coughs> And, uh, you know, that candy was ancient debris. So, another egg. Now, we can't just have our portal floating here in the middle of the ocean like this. We quite clearly need to put it in or on something, perhaps. I was thinking a boat. And I'm just gonna place this here. I'm thinking right there. Probably do it. It's like on a boat. And, uh, I'm gonna go through. Nope, 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 nope. Now I'm gonna enter the nether portal, and when I come back, it's gonna be a beautiful yacht! Okay guys, and once we're in the nether, we just gotta snap our fingers, like that, and then we jump and spin around, and when we go back, there should be a beautiful yacht. Whoa! Oh my god! There's a boat here! Oh my, I wonder how that got there. It's magical. Mm -hmm. Very, very magical boat here. Uh, we got, give you a little, little rundown, you know. But I guess we're going to explore together because I definitely didn't put it here. It um, <coughs> just appeared because the, you know, little wooden boat just, you know, turned into this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, if we come along in here, uh, ignore the obsidian beam, that's just uh, <coughs> structural support. Uh, we got a little table, uh, you can't really get in here at all, but you, you got a table and some, some benches, more decorational than functional. We got smokers, little table, I want to put a cake here, I'm just very lazy and I don't want to go bake the cake right now. And you got, you know, four barrels, plenty of storage, three more furnaces boat controls, and, uh, little spots for me. Oh, you can't get in these either. Uh, little spots for, uh, captain and, like, co-captain to sit. See, I got a beautiful addition on the top of the boat. You know, like, pirate ships got mermaids. I got a golden fishy boy. Mm hmm If you come on out here, we got more little benches and just couches. And then we got the big couch. Comfy. Uh, up here, we got a little, like, radar dish, not radar dish, but, like, you know, it, it, it looks cool, and these things are on, on boats, and so I built it, because it's a thing, and then the, the fin, because it looks fancy, and it's on boats, ah, oh, beautiful sunset, so, so, so beautiful, anyway, we come on downstairs, and we can go inside, now, in here, we got a toilet, and you get some beautiful painting, you know, beautiful scenery. So as you're sitting there, taking uh, your own square poops, you can uh, look at this beautiful piece of art and then wash your hands. Over here, we got a shower. No, you know, painting here because we got towels so you can dry yourself. Shower, and then dry yourself. We've got the little detail. It's full of water, too. A little drain, full of water. Wash your hands. I don't know why you need to wash your hands after going to the shower, but okay. In here, mass storage, we got four double chests, a little bit of light, a big couch, with windows, piece of art, and a jukebox in case you ever want to sit down and listen to your jazzy tunes. We come in here, we got a little bit more storage, another sink, some more light, another small window, and then in here, we got two bits of storage and just cabins for two other people to sleep. Two people can share it. <coughs> and in here is the main area for me. You got your computer. You got a big bed, which we're gonna take advantage of right now. Oh, mm -hmm. 
two armor stands with some clothing on, lots of lights, three barrels plus two chests of storage, and then some plants around to add color. You also get a skylight in here. But, uh, that's about it. There's not too much to the boat. It's a, you know, small boat, but it's classy, and it just really adds to the area. Uh, I really wanted to show the boat to you at night. I shouldn't have slept. It looks so magical at night. I don't know why I slept. That was not a good idea. I'll get right back to you once it's night again, because I really just kind of want to take a break. So I'm going to go sit down and do nothing and wait for night, and then you're going to see the boat in the dark, and then we may or may not do something productive. Bye. Okay, fellas. Welcome back. Well, not welcome back. I mean, you just saw the point is it's nighttime. Simple as that. <laughs> uh, it's dark. Unfortunately, it's also raining. But you can see the boat in all its glory. It, it looks so good. It's like this glowing beacon out in the middle of the sea. I'm also sorry for the poor audio quality in the last clip. I had a fan blowing in my face, and I forgot to turn it off. So that's going to be the sound you hear. That, that, that would have been the sound you heard in the last clip. Uh, I forgot to turn it off this time, so I'm really sorry about that, guys, but... It's gonna... Yeah, nothing really much I can do about that. But, like I said, there is the boat. It, gl it, it glows in the night, and it looks super cool. It's just... It's beautiful. If you guys have any suggestions on what we should name this boat, I'd love to hear it. Because this boat obviously does need a name. But, now for the main reason we're out here. We want to make a guardian farm, okay? Now, we got the ocean monument there, but for the design that I want to build, we need around about 50 tridents. So, I need to make a trident farm. So, I'm thinking we'll make the trident farm out here because that just makes sense. If this is where I want to put the main base location in the future, so I might as well keep most of the farms close together. Uh, that would mean that we do need to get... Oh, fell in the water. We do need to get materials and stuff to build the design. And, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, well, you know what? I actually had this idea. What if we were to put the drowned farm as, like, a part of, like, the guardian farm? So, essentially, the guardian farm is going to go down three blocks into the, like, ocean surface, whatever. So you're going to have this three deep area. I'm going to make it, you know, sponges, whatever, clean it out. But what if I did that, I had the guardian farm, and then in the same AFK spot, I set it up so that there's a you know, you could run the drown farm from there. So this way you're only getting... I mean, you get drowned, and then you get the, uh, what it's called. Then you get the guardians, and, um, you get tridents, copper, XP, prismarine, prismarine shards, you know, all that stuff. I think that could work. You'd also get drowned and head, uh, drowned and guardian heads, which would be a good bonus. So they're always fun. I think this is a brilliant idea. So uh, once I get back to base, I'm going to go ahead and start getting together a bit of blocks to uh, use for that. I'm gonna start working on the base of the guardian farm, I guess, and then we'll set up the AFK spot and we're gonna build the drown farm this episode. And, uh, if we somehow end up having enough time, it, it's, we'll see how it goes, but probably just gonna be a drown from this episode.
Alright guys, uh, just made it back to the boat. I ran back to the base. I decided, so I grabbed a bunch of stuff to raid the ocean monument, but I didn't have puffer fish to make night breathing. So I'm hoping we can find some around here, but I don't have very high hopes of finding a tropical, you know, biome. Uh, but I did bring some fun stuff to put around the boat, so I want to add some little, that's not the right box. I want to add some little mini guys, so like I said uh, in the first episode, we have the foxy no-tail add-on. We have the foxy no-tail add-on to make armor stand super small. So if I just break this barrel and I pop this armor stand in here, uh, I can take out some black dye and we can make these armor stands tiny. We've got little mini, mini guys. We can shrink it and shrink it and that should be as small as it can get. To which we can then add some armor and a head and give it everything else. Just dress it on up, give it the sword, pants, chest plate, put the barrel back. Voila. Change the position. Magic. And then I brought stuff to make another one. I also brought a tiny shulker head so we can put that up somewhere. And then I also have the stuff to make uh, uh, night vision potions and regeneration potions. I'm thinking, let's put this other guy outside somewhere where he's going to be noticed. A bit easier than the glow squid fella. That's more for me, personal, like in my little private quarters. What if we put him, I think it's right here. Get that out of the way. Pop that there, black dye, shrink it on down, two, and that should be as small as it can go. And then we put some stuff on it, change its position, let's see, and voila. Let's put the ceiling back. Can we make them sit? I don't think that's a thing. No. Let me go check Foxy's website, because I swear that's an option. You can, like, make them sit. I don't know what diet is, so. Okay, guys, I just checked the website. It says that you need light gray dye to make the armor stand sit. Uh, I don't have gray. I think I, I'm just gonna. Oh, wait, no, I brought bones. We'll be good. We'll be good. We got, we'll be good. Uh, there should be a squid around here because we are in the ocean. Oh, just those are tropical fish. We might be able to find a puffer fish after all. Huh. Puffer, puffer. And puffer fish. Poofy, yellow, fishy. I don't see any. But, if I pop out some of the... I probably put the bones in here. Yep. We can take these out. We'll make a little bit more white dye because... I didn't want to use the only white dye I had. I do plan on using that again. Uh, two gray, and then I'll actually grab these again. And now we have light gray. And this is definitely too much light gray, but it's light gray. We can run up here, and... Uh, blop. Uh, that is very... I like that a lot. And then I brought uh, this shoulder head. We'll probably put it... Hmm... What if we put it in here? We can put it, like, right here on the dashboard. Shrink it on down. I think that looks pretty cute. Yeah, that's that's nice. And then I'm just going to put all this extra dye and stuff in here. Yeah, that's really nice. And then I did bring the brewing stand, and I think I'm going to keep it in this kitchen area. It's just like a coffee kind of machine. Coffee machine or a, a milkshake maker, kind of looks like milkshake machine, you know, like, uh, I don't know, but, but it, it looks really good. And then blaze powder, power it on up. Another wart. Now, I don't have, uh, you know, puffer fish, but I can make resistance potions. And if I can't find a puffer fish, like, within the next few minutes, I did bring a magma block to use for air instead. Because I don't have a heart of the sea, and I didn't really want to go look for one. 
so I will be back with you once I get these potions already and I do or do not find a puffer fish. Okay guys, so uh, I didn't find a puffer fish. I've been looking for like 10 minutes. I just decided to give up. I put the water bottles in the brewing stand so it you know, looks like there's drinks in there. And uh, I did set my spawn point in the bed down below. Let's go raid the monument now. Like I said uh, earlier, it's just over here. So, I'm gonna pop out this. I don't remember, but I don't think shields are that useful against these. Against these guys, I'm pretty sure the shield. I don't, I don't remember. I think that their uh, beams actually get blocked by the shield. So this is the gold room. Uh, I did get the mining fatigue, so trying to find these guys is going to be a bit more difficult because I can't just dig in. Oh, there's one right there. Let's get some air first. Oh, breaking the magma box. It's not that bad. Pop a regen pot and go. There he is, there he is, there he is. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. I don't remember this being that easy. It's been a while since I've raided one of these, but that seemed too easy. Uh, get the magma block back out. I'm gonna need that soon. So the other one should be on the like opposite side of the temple. How did I get here now? Pretty sure I came. Uh, what's up here? Uh, yeah, I don't really know where I. Gonna need air in a second though, so try as far as I can. Oh no, I can. Nope. Not there. Okay, I need air. Honestly, the magma block is not a bad way of going about this. It's pretty good. I don't remember how I got to be here. I feel like you guys are probably just gonna be like, well, uh, it's, you know, like, right, like, you guys probably know exactly where I came and I got the famous clue. Oh, was this it? Oh, that's, that's actually kind of embarrassing. Okay. Uh, it was, you know, right there, the one door that I didn't go through. What a shocker. So, there should be an Elder Guardian that's, like, up here. Oh, no. Sorry, little guy. No! Stop knocking me off the magma block. Uh, since this. Okay. We're just gonna have to do it this way, though. They're not, like, doing, like, a lot of damage at all. They're barely doing any damage. It's just, I really don't want to keep getting hit around as I'm trying to mine a block. Uh, yep. This is the guy. There he is. Up there we go. Got him, got him. And the final guy. Let's see, where's the entrance? When we came in, we went that way, so the other guy should be right over here. Uh, what would be the best way to do this? Probably. Just... Stop it! Where's the trend ground? He's actually doing some damage. Okay. There we go. Come on, let me in. Let me in. I'm so close. No! Jeez, calm down, guys. What? Where? Stop. No. Come on. Um, halfway there. Please don't hit me. I'm so close. Oh, come on. Mm. Ah. Yes, okay. Grab the magma block. The other guy should be right around here. Because there should be like one on each side and then the middle. Oh, 
this is the same that we were just never mind this is the one we were just in all that for the wrong side jeez that's okay chop 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 magma block Getting close here. Once we get rid of this other Elder Guardian, we can go look for the sponge room. Although I think we'll do that later, because that's not really needed right now, and I don't really want to go through all that trouble. <coughs> At least not yet. Well, I don't want to go through any trouble, but it's gonna have to be done. The other guy, yep, there he is. This is the third and final one. Chop, 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 chop. There we go. Three Elder Guardian heads. I think I'm just gonna leave the gold for right now, just for like decoration or just the sense of keeping this place fully intact. But that's that all done. We just gotta wait for the effects to wear off now. Three and a half minutes, roughly. So I'm just gonna pull up with sponge. Like this. Ow. You know, I do need tritons. I'm, I'm making a farm to farm you guys, so you might want to be a bit careful there. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna pop on the wings. I'm gonna go sit on the boat. And, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I did just run back to the starter base. I have quite a few bits of supplies and stuff. I got, like, oh, the phone made noise. Okay, nope, we're good. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. yeah, wait, supplies, simple as that, I got supplies, I got like a box, about half a box of white concrete powder, just sands, gravel, well, not a gravel now, and then leftover stuff from the, but whatever, point is, I'm gonna start building the setup for the guardian farm, slash ground farm, I guess technically it's a two-in-one sort of deal here. So, uh, yeah. Okay guys, I'm back, about five hours later. We've essentially dug a hole in the ocean, which doesn't make much sense when you put it in that terminology, but that's essentially what we did here. And as you can tell by this middle bit, and I'm sure you saw in the time lapse, we just built it on top of the monument, made some major progress. This is essentially gonna be the casing uh, that we're gonna put the guardian farm in. And then we're going to build the drown farm up in the air above. So when you're AFK, you get both copper, you get tridents, you get drowned heads, you also get tons of XP, and the guardian drops. Yeah, guys, so unfortunately I've run out of time for this week's episode. Uh, but we will go ahead. I'll get materials off camera, all the redstone bits. We'll get this all knocked out in the next episode, hopefully, most of it. We'll, we'll see. To be determined, I might run out of time again. I work rather slow, if I'm gonna be honest. But, um, yeah. Uh, 
If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Share the video around with your friends to help, you know, share the video around. And if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Hit it now. Anyway, this has been Mr. Game and Aquatic, and I'll see you next week. See ya! Uh-huh.